a nation in mourning for the Grand Chief that brought the tribes of PNG together. When I heard that uh, Mr Michael Samaria died, I was, I was very in worry, in pain. People's hearts will be broken because he did a big thing. He brought us from independence until now. As a young man, Sir Michael Samare turned from school teacher to political activist. And this is why I want to say that, you know, so sooner this country is independent, the better it is. He led his people to independence from Australia in 1975 and became the country's first Prime Minister at just 39. He went on to serve 17 years in the top job over four terms, PNG's longest serving Prime Minister. He deserves all our utmost respect. Those who worked alongside him remember a peacemaker. He's a man of peace, patience, a lot of sacrifices that he did uh, to help this nation and to negotiate their terms of self-government and independence. Across the Torres Strait, Australia also paid its respects. He was the light of his generation, which has lighted up the path for Papua New Guineans today and into the future. Flags at Parliament House and across the nation were at half-mast. Two weeks of mourning has been declared and a state funeral is being planned. Let's send him off, the manner in which he lived his life. Father to all. Enemies to none. Sir Michael Samare had been receiving palliative care in Port Moresby for the pancreatic cancer that claimed his life overnight. Today, police stood guard outside the funeral home. A public holiday will be held on Monday to remember the man known as the father of the nation. There are also plans for national screenings of documentaries about his life and work ahead of another public holiday for his funeral. A sign of the deep love and respect for the Grand Chief here in Papua New Guinea. Sir Michael is survived by his wife, Lady Veronica, and five children. Natalie Whiting, ABC News, Port Moresby.